I have seen the future and it's not what you think. I am the future. My fingers, my toes, my arms, my legs, these are prosthetics built back in the 21st century on a 3D printer. My heart, I'm on my third heart. After all, a heart is just a pump. As we seek better health and everlasting life, we will take on spare parts. My brain. The journey started back in 2020 with a man called Elon Musk who inserted a chip into the brain of a pig called a Neuralink and you laughed, we all laughed. And yet today I am capable of infinite thought. There is nothing I don't know about. The meeting I attended 75 years ago, I know who was in it and what was discussed. The painting that was painted many centuries ago, I don't need to read the, the plate by it. I know everything about that painting, the brush strokes, the artist, where it was painted. There is nothing I don't know about that painting. You say the biggest barrier to being more innovative is you don't have time to think. But just think of the time you would have to think and what we could create if we were a walking encyclopedia. You feared me back in 2020. The expert said I would take away about a third of your jobs within a decade. That turned out to be true. You feared me because of the algorithms I could run. And yet when you realize those algorithms within a few decades could solve vaccines in a matter of minutes, not years, suddenly you came to embrace me. And yet you still thought we would compete. And you still feared me. And yet my journey is not complete. I still cover the very things that make you human. The things they haven't been able to program. When you were a child, you were all born creative. You were given a, a toy for Christmas, or your birthday perhaps, and it came in an enormous box. And it took you ages of excitement to get the toy out of the box. And you spent an hour playing with the toy. But what did you spend the next five days playing with? The box. It was your spaceship, it was your fort, it was your castle, it was your rocket ship. And then you went to school, the number one killer of creativity. And the first line you heard from your teacher was, don't forget to color inside the lines. You were all born with two processors. You call them brains with 100 billion neurons in this one and 100 million neurons in this one, your intuition, which gives you empathy, which has not yet been programmed. 95% of the decisions you make every day, I went with my gut. You even know when somebody's looking at the back of your head. It is an amazing computer. You were all born curious. You used to ask as a small child, why, 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 and why again? And then you went to school or you got a job and you were told there was only one right answer, so you stopped asking the second why, and yet the insight for innovation comes on the fourth or fifth why. You all have an amazing imagination. You have incredible dreams. I dream of dreaming. And yet my journey is not yet complete, because I still cover the very things that make you human, the things they haven't been able to program, into the artificial intelligence, creativity, intuition, curiosity, and imagination. And yet your children and grandchildren will have a unique and remarkable choice. You no longer need to fear me. It will not be the human race versus artificial intelligence. We will merge bringing the best of the algorithms that I can run with the very core traits that make you human. Creativity, imagination, intuition and curiosity. Singularity will no longer allow us to compete. We will simply merge to become one superhuman race.